maybe this morning and worship the King of Glory. Appreciate the name of the Lord. Thank Him because He is good. The Bible says that the Lord is good and His mercies endures forever. So I want you to give Him glory. Say to God, I thank you. Because of you, I am alive. Because of you, I am an overcomer. Just worship him. Just worship him. He never failed me yet. He never failed me. Jesus Christ never failed me yet. Anywhere I go, I want to them to know Jesus Christ never failed me yet. He never failed me yet. He never failed me yet. Jesus Christ never failed me yet. Anywhere I go, I want to them to know Jesus Christ never failed me yet. He never failed me yet. He never failed me yet. Jesus Christ never failed me yet. Anywhere I go, I want to them to know Jesus Christ never failed me yet. Glory to God. We give thanks to the Almighty King. Today is our day 87 of our fasting and prayer. We give God praise. And we are going to read Psalm 87 and then we will pray. The Bible says, His foundation is in the holy mountains. Reading from verse 1. The Lord loved the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things are spoken of thee, O city of God. I will make mention of Rahab and Babylon to them that know me. Behold, Philistia and Ty with Ethiopia, this man was born there. And of Zion it shall be said, this and that was man born in her, and the highest himself shall establish it. The Lord shall count. When he writeth of the people, this man was born there. As well, all singers, as the player on instrument, shall be there. All my springs 
you did. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to understand this morning that the foundation of God is in the holy mountains. You know, anytime we talk about holiness, we're talking about separation. Separation. Being able to separate yourself. Holiness. God is holy. And there is power in holiness. So, anytime you want God to stay in that foundation, you must recognize that he is a holy God. He said, be you holy, for I am holy. Holiness is the foundation of godliness. Any foundation that lacks holiness will be doomed. That foundation cannot function well. That foundation will be corrupted. No matter how you are running, you cannot run. Under the speed of God. So holiness is important. That you lay a foundation. As a holy mountain. He said the Lord loved the gates of Zion. More than all the dwellings. I'm going to explain to you. So that when we start praying. You will understand. Gates of Zion. What is he talking about gate? Your mouth is a gate. Your mouth. Is a gate. To the whole of your system. We have several gates. We have our eyes. Eyes is a gate. You have your mouth. Mouth is a gate. We have ear. Ear is also a gate. So the Lord says, we love those gates. More than your entire system. Because these are the things that has to be holy. What are you speaking? What is your mouth doing? Our mouth is not only meant to be eaten. And if we, even if we include that, you ask yourself, what am I eating? It loves your gate. So that gate needs to be holy. Anytime you see unholy speech, unholy talk, Unholy discussion and communication escape from that. Because each time you engage yourself, you will be defiling the mountain of God. Hallelujah. Anytime you see yourself engage your eyes 
in ungodliness, in the things that obstructs the foundation of holiness, then you'll be in trouble. So we're going to pray for these gates this morning. And what are you hearing? What are you listening to? Has the ability of corrupting this gate. Has the ability to mess up this foundation. The Bible says again, his foundation is in the holy mountain. I'm sure you would like God to dwell in you. And these are the things that obstruct the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. The indwelling of God. In laying foundation in you. He loves the gate. He loves the gate. I want you to pray for that gate this morning. Before we pray, we're going to shout Holy Ghost five, seven times. <laughs> the blood of Jesus seven times. And we're going to begin to demand from God to help our mouth. We're going to first of all pray for the mouth. The Bible said that the, this mouth you are looking at, it has the ability. I mean, it spoke about tongue. Tongue in our mouth has the ability to set a blaze. Just like a single match. What do you call matches? You can light it up. Little fire. You light it up. And they will begin to burn. The whole city. He says. That's how powerful the tongue is. Out of it. The whole system. Is corrupt. So what are you speaking? Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks to glory to God. Checking what is coming out. Say it to yourself three times before you begin to talk. Glory to God. Before you begin to speak, ask yourself, what I'm saying, what I'm saying, does it make sense? Does it make sense? Before I begin to speak, does it make sense? Is it against the word of God? Does it make sense that I am saying things that is outside the will of God? Does it make sense that I am talking against my brother or against my sister. The Bible says God loves the gate. What is your gate representing? So I want us to 
decree and pray for number one gate, our mouth. Open your mouth this morning. We're going to shout the Holy Ghost five, seven times, the blood of Jesus seven times. We're going to shout the name of Jesus one time and we're going to begin to pray. Say to God, touch my mouth. Help my mouth to speak life. Speak life. He said the, the power of life and death is in the tongue. The power of life and death is in the tongue. And by this steering that is called tongue, you can steer your life to abundance. You can steer your life to prosperity. You can steer your life using the word of God. Always speaking what God speaks. Anytime you are engaged in evil speaking of someone, the Bible says you will give account of every idle word. I want to, I want, I want to say this because sometimes you speak and you think the word is just going. Every word, every word is the spirit. Hallelujah. Words are spirit. Whether it is bad word, good word, whatever. Whatever you say waits for you. It doesn't just go. That's why Jesus said you will give account of every idle word. Meaning that the word you're saying is vain. So you be careful of what you're saying. So we're going we're gonna to decree and pray. Hallelujah. We're going to decree and pray. Holy Ghost fire. 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 Holy Ghost fire in Jesus' mighty name. The blood of Jesus Christ. 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 The precious blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus. Masekiyalo bronobata. Veno bante praluke bosai. Lord, touch my mouth. Masekura bandeki gabots. Touch my mouth this day. That I will not use my mouth to destroy myself. I want you to pray. That my mouth will not be a gate of iniquity. That my mouth will not be a gate of death. That I will use my mouth to speak life. To speak life. Anytime I'm speaking, life is turning on. Every time I'm speaking, life is giving. Every time I speak, life will be given. I want you to open your mouth. That you will not use your mouth to destroy yourself. You will not use your mouth to speak evil. I want you to pray. Yes, who are you talking to? The Bible says that evil communication corrupts good manners. I want you to open your mouth. Declare it that this morning, from now henceforth, my mouth shall speak life. I will not use my mouth to destroy myself. I will not use my mouth to steer myself onto sickness, to steer myself onto death. I will not use my mouth to make a mole sound like a mountain. I reject every evil speaking. I reject my mouth speaking death. I reject my mouth speaking sickness. I reject my mouth speaking outside the word of God. Open your mouth. Yampe leke brulubo. Riba seke kuteleba. Robert the Inferno Braco Tolobus, Ripa te Gote Kilabus, Robert the Betondia Bosella, Rosh te Balaku Kimasai, Rimabo Anfene Branto Kobosaya, Rapa in Koto Zalebataka, Zakrema in Pato Loco Zeta, Jame Katekusa, yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Mosebe Lidianka, Robin Vene Kunkea. Jabled, jabled, riba seibos. My mouth shall speak life. My mouth shall speak faith. My mouth shall speak patience. My mouth will not speak evil. 
In the name of Jesus, I will not use my tongue to steer my life unto death. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Decree it. Decree it. Pray for your family that your family will not use their mouth to destroy themselves. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ye parabako tolubada. Rema celebros. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to pray for your ears. Your ears as a gate. You know, sometimes you have itching ear. You want to hear about something. Hallelujah. But what, what are you hearing? What are you listening to? Because from that, as a gate, he enters the mind. That's why I choose the word I take in. Glory to God. There are people who carry dead spirit. Spirit of death and destruction. Yes. When they come around you and they begin to speak, all you think about is death and destruction. So what are you hearing? Does he represent or replicate the word of God? What you're hearing, is it the word of God? Is it what God said about you? That place that you're going, and they're feeding your mind with negativity, with things that is outside the word of God. Why are you putting your ears on death and suicide? Suicide. That's why even in your house, you must know the kind of music you are listening to. Quickly remove it. If that does not represent the word of God, also check your children. Hallelujah. Amen. Because see that this soon, sometimes they are watching cartoon. You got to sit and watch and see what they are watching. You might think it's just a child something. But there are subliminal, subliminal messages that are on those things you need to detect to stop it on time. Many things are happening. Your ears, what, is, what are you hearing? So we're going to pray for our ears this morning to begin to hear the word of God. Some of us pretend they are listening, but they are not. God will give you a good listening ear of the word of God. Amen. That it will allow life-giving word to sink through this ear. To go into the heart. The Bible says, God loves those gates. God loves those gates. So we're going to open your mouth this morning and begin to decree that my ear must hear life. My ears must hear life. Giving spirit, like I said, that the world will speak, they are alive and they are spirit. Do not think you speak word and you go in vain. Every single word that comes out of you is alive and is a spirit. The same, like everyone speaking to you. You may think it is not. Watch your television and see what's going on. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. They want you to feel certain way. They'll begin to tell you about how many diseases are killing people right now. When that begins to happen, you will see panic. You will see trouble. All you are wondering is why is this world going down this way? If they want you to feel certain way, they will project many words of death. And that's what you're listening to. And you begin to even doubt your very existence. You begin to wonder what is going on. I want you to pray right now. Decree and declare that my ears must hear life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. going to decree Holy Ghost for seven times, the blood of Jesus. And Jesus one time. You're going to begin to decree and declare that my ears are covered with the blood of Jesus Christ. Yes, your ears will be open. Every wax in your ear that makes your ear
to operate in a destructible way that your ear cannot hear life but death always. The blood of Jesus Christ is available as we begin to decree and pray. Holy Ghost fire. 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 Holy Ghost fire in Jesus' mighty name. The blood of Jesus Christ. 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 The precious blood of Jesus Christ. Oh God, arise. Let your enemies scatter. Jesus. Father, clear our ears. Clear our ears. Touch our ears to hear life. Touch our ears to hear life this morning. That every death that is intruding our ear will be blocked in the name of Jesus Christ. Make our ear to hear. Father, open our ear to be very sensitive to the word of God. That our ear will hear the word, the word of life in the name of Jesus Christ. We decree this morning. The ears of our family are open. The ears of our life are open. We will hear God. We will hear the word of God. Because every word that comes out, they are alive and they are spirit. Mighty God, cause our gate in our ear to be loved by God. To be open this morning. To hear life and not to hear death. In the name of Jesus Christ. My la prenemosa, zakule pranons, edazi zalukotaya, zan shaliporobusika, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. We're going to pray for our gates. Our eyes, we're going to decree that our eyes will begin to see the glory of God. Hallelujah. Let this gate call eyes. Let us see no evil. Let us see the goodness of God. You know, many times the devil will blind your eyes. Blind it so that all you see is red. Danger everywhere. Danger, 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 danger. You don't see life. You don't see yourself coming out of that situation. You don't see yourself progressing. You don't see the goodness of God in your life. All you complain here all day is death, death, death. Danger, danger, danger everywhere. I want you to pray right now. Say, God, touch my eyes. Let my eyes be holy. In the name of Jesus, that I will see no evil. Glory to God. I'm going to declare and pray and demand that God will wipe our ears. Touch our ears. Wipe the tears out of our ears. Every evil tears. Wipe it out and make our eyes holy in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Declare and pray. Holy Ghost fire. 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 Holy Ghost fire in Jesus' mighty name. The blood of Jesus Christ. 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 The precious blood of Jesus Christ. Oh God arise. Jesus. Father, touch our eyes this morning. Marsha Lebranto Loboko Celebo. Right by ten vinta corobo sekin basai lato be in corono sekin kayeba in the name of Jesus Christ we decree that our eyes are washed our eyes are open in the name of Jesus Christ every scale of our eyes is dropping out this morning we shall see the glory of God we shall see the power of God Maya rebe de soto loboko reba imbatono zeliba kataya. Zembereke toko mbre tolebo seya Rakushte bra impe loko toko Ziraba infetromo sebania Lembra imba toko zeita 
Vasto maratin ken kobo selebo riba infeno bronto bo sekin basala riba ba 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 rito brodo bo godolo bro godoli bro godolo bo robo bo 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 zindele bregedeli bando robos re infana ba kons kombro empeli kata jemalia bo torobos infeno komba usera rate inte krete keto keto lobo Riba den to to a mask in the level. Jacoba infeneko to yala. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Just wave your hand. Wave your hand and say, Lord, we thank you. We thank you because all our gates have been sanctified. For the Lord to dwell in his foundation. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, every of our gates are sanctified, are washed with the blood of Jesus. Yes, Lord, wash our eyes with the blood of Jesus Christ. Wash our ears so that we will not hear and say another thing. So that our ears will confirm that God is good in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Just wave your hand and say thank you. Thank you for, for touching me this morning. Thank you because my life must show that God has touched me. Yes, Jesus. And this morning, I will only speak life, no death. I will only speak the power of God, no weakness. I will only speak strength, no weakness. I will say what the Lord said. He said, let the weak say. I am strong. We are strong. We are of God. We are faithful people. We are godly in the name of Jesus. We are holy. Yes, Jesus, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 Just raise your hand. Still raise your hand. I'm going to pray for everyone that is sick. Everyone that is feeling weak, there are two persons under the sound of my voice that are weak right now. I want you to decree and declare with me that I am strong. Just say it three times. As I'm repeating it, just follow me to say it. I am strong. I am strong. I am strong in the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, I abolish every weakness in my life. And I abolish every weakness, every weakness that ties me down. I destroy it right now because I am strong in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, precious Lord. Thank you, Lord. Somebody with eye problem. Your eyes, your eyes, your eyes. Just touch it. Touch it right now. Touch it, touch it, touch it. Touch it with your right hand. That power is within you right now. Thank you, Father, for healing thy eyes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. There is somebody listening to me right now. One part of your body is feeling numb. It's feeling numb. One part of your body. You can't feel your foot like you used to. Glory to God. Mighty Jesus. I release that healing. No stroke. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you the spirit of stroke out in the name of Jesus Christ. This daughter of Zion must, must, must regain herself right now in the precious name of Jesus. In Masediato, Barila Tonzeiba, Lechto Braveto Kosiada. Yes, Lord. There is somebody listening to me. You are. Going to have a challenge at your workplace this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. There is a challenge, but God is saying that you should be quiet. Mm. Don't speak loud. Don't make it bother you. Yes, someone is coming for an agitate. In fact, he's going to create issues that will make you mad, as people will say. Don't say nothing. Don't even speak. Not, don't even live in anger. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Lord said, be patient. Because whatever they are saying is not going to stop you from walking there. 
Whatever they are saying, don't quit that job because of pressure. Yes, yes, yes. The Lord is speaking to you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, precious Lord. Just wave your hand. Wave your hand. We thank you for what you're doing. Yes, Lord. Bless your name. Be thou exalted, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. In Jesus Mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Let the church shout amen. Amen. Let the church shout amen. Amen. Glory to God. We want to also announce that if the Lord is still touching you to give us something, please go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. And the Lord will continue to bless you. And you can send it to my this phone number using Cash App or Zell it 915-490-9653. Glory to God. And God will continue to bless your heart as you include as you include yourself in this work of God. Hallelujah. Like I said, our goal is to ensure. That everyone on planet Earth hears the word of God. And this goes far and wide because of you as well. We thank you. And we're asking that please tell your neighbor, tell your families to join this meeting every morning. And if you have not joined us in fasting and prayer, please join. Join us. Today is our 87th day. And we have 150 days to complete. So minus 87. The other day that is remaining. Still join. And God will still bless you. That is 6 o'clock to 3 o'clock. As we finish praying here. Continue with the same scripture. And continue with the same prayer point. You will see the glory of God. Don't make it stop right here. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And God bless you. Bye bye. Tiktok.